Hello and welcome to the warm-up from Frickers. We're joined by Wayne Trace head coach Bill Speller. Coach, in your 14th season, anything different about year 14? Must be nice to get back out in camp. Uh, not a whole lot different. Uh, you know, it's it's uh, been a good time these, these 14 years. Uh, same staff, great staff, and we're always liking to be around each other and all good friends. So uh, you get a chance to get back to football and get into camp. It's, it's always a good time. Yeah, how's the coaching staff looking this year? You mentioned a lot of returning guys. Oh, yeah. Uh, Mike Spies and, and Kenny Spies and Doug Etzler and Steve Sin and Chad Giltzenleiter have been with me for a long time. Uh, we've added this year Devin Wenslick, who was uh, – uh, a real good player for us uh, back in 2013 when we went to state. and uh, We've brought Devin's experience onto a staff with us, and he's doing a really good job for us. Yeah, two years removed from that amazing run last year and made it to the postseason again, but ended in week 11. What are the takeaways from last year? What can you build upon? Uh, not to turn the ball over as much as we did in that game, uh, definitely. But uh, um, We've got a lot of the kids that uh, have got to gain some experience right now. We graduated a pretty decent-sized senior class last year. Um, the good thing about the kids that are, are coming in are uh, their, their athleticism. You know, not as big as we used to be. Um, you know, we graduated kids like Chucky Chestain and Riley Moore, who were um, – Chucky was over 300 pounds and six foot three, and Riley was 6'4", 260. You know, they're big, strong kids. Um, we don't have a lot of those kids anymore, uh, but what we do have is very athletic and very fast athletes, and um, you know, we're trying to really uh, work on that ability. Who are some of the guys in particular that you're looking to step up this season? I know you graduated quarterback Tyler Showalter, so maybe at the skill positions you're looking to fill some voids. Yeah, um, senior Gabe Wobbler is going to take over at quarterback for us. Um, Gabe's got some experience there already, and, and – uh, um, He's done a great job for us so far in camp. Um, Cole Shepard uh, was a returning wide receiver for us last year, and he's going to fill in a wide receiver spot for us. Um, big addition to us this year is uh, Luke Miller, uh, basketball star. Right, I remember you know, him from yeah, basketball. Yeah, yeah. Um, hasn't played since he was in junior high. Uh, decided that he wanted to, to come out. He had a he had an elbow issue for the last couple of years. Uh, doctor cleared him and immediately said he wanted to play football and. You know, I, when I heard that, I was I was pretty excited watching him on the basketball court. You know, uh, seeing his uh, athleticism, um, so he's come out and he's done an outstanding job at wide receiver and free safety for us. And you know, we we can't get him off the field. He's, he's just he's just making too many good plays for us. Um, Noah Stoller is going to be in the backfield for us. Uh, six foot, two hundred and five pound running back. You know, he's gonna he's gonna bring a load every Some time. Good he's size, running. yeah. yeah. And we're, we're returning Scott Wenninger and Justin Spies on the offensive line, uh, both decent-sized kids, uh, athletic-type kids uh, that are going to anchor things for us. Um, Connor Aaron is going to return on the defensive line for us. Uh, very strong kid. He's about six foot 190, uh, but very powerful and, and very quick off the ball. So we're expecting a lot of big things from him as well. Um, Jake Bax is going to be playing some um, linebacker for us. Uh, he, he's returning from a... Uh, an injury last year. He played some free safety for us last year, and he's, he's going to be back. Um, Clint Sins, another big addition for us. Uh, he's uh, really stepped up his game this year. He's gotten a little bit bigger. Um, he's going to play some offensive line and and uh, linebacker for us, and he's just uh, he's done an outstanding job so far. Uh, you know, really getting off the ball and, and um, uh, really rising to another level that we we really needed out of him. Um, I'm starting to draw blanks. Yeah, no, you're fine. Yeah, that's a great, great <laughs> okay. personnel that you've got there. How have you seen all of them come together in camp so far and, and start to become a unit? Uh, you know, when we first started out, uh, kind of quiet. Uh, this is, they're not a real, the senior class isn't a real loud group. Uh -huh. They're not real, you know, compared to last year's senior class. Those guys like to, they like to talk. <laughs> right, right. Um, but these guys are, they're a little bit quieter about things. And, and we've had to talk to them about, you know, um, taking their role as, as, as leaders on the team and, and um, stepping up to the occasion and uh, doing the little things. And they've, we've really started to see that, that turn around. Uh, we had a player get injured um, the, the first day of hitting, and he broke his arm, Jaden Edwards, and, and he's a sophomore this year, and, and some of them went and saw him. You know, they, they, were, they, they cared about what, how he was feeling. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the... We got done with a practice one day, and it wasn't such a good practice. And some of the seniors took some guys out, and, and they went back over things. So, so those are some of the little things that uh, 
they're starting to pick up on leadership wise. Yeah, it's very important, especially as you go throughout the grind of the season. Mm -hmm. You guys had your first scrimmage last night. What did you see out of the guys? Were you impressed, or is there a lot of work to be done before week one? Uh, you know, we started out kind of slow in it. Van Wert's going to be a very good team. Coach Wreckers really turned things around there yeah. at, with that program. Um, they're, they're, they were huge. Um, but we started out kind of slow in the scrimmage. Um, but as the scrimmage progressed, uh, we started to gain more experience, started to learn some things about ourselves and, and what we needed to do here and there. And we really started, we started moving the ball a little bit better. We started playing a lot better defense. Um, so I think it's something to build on. You know, we didn't win the scrimmage, but um, like I said, we, we learned some things and we're going to build on them. A couple more scrimmages scheduled before the opener at Paulding and then home for Patrick Henry and then, you know, off and running from there. Those, your non-conference schedule should be a pretty good challenge and set mm -hmm. you up let you know where you're at heading into GMC yep. play. Yep. We decided that we were going to really step up the scrimmage schedule of uh, Van Wert. Uh, we've had for a little while, but we've put Elida on there as well because yeah. um, we wanted to build up the competition level going into this year. We knew this was going to be a, uh, one of the tougher schedules that Wayne Trace has played in a while. Um, Patrick Henry, perennial playoff team. LCC, a playoff, perennial playoff team. Um, You've got Ayersville that's going to be a, a lot better this year. And, of course, our, our league champ, Tenora, that we'd, we'd really like to get back at. Um, so this is going to be a tough schedule, and we wanted to build into that. Uh, we keep talking to him about it. This is going to, want to be one of the biggest challenges Wayne Trace has faced in the regular season. You mentioned it before, the athleticism of this group and specifically some of the, some of the skill positions. Would you say that's the biggest strength of this team right now? Yeah, our athleticism is definitely the biggest strength. Uh, uh, we're very quick. Um, like I said, not the, not the biggest, but uh, we're definitely not going to get outran. And what's an area you'd like to improve upon between now and week one? Um, we've got to find some of the question marks at the offensive line, um, both the starters and guys to, to fill in because there's a couple guys going both ways. Um, so we need to find guys to step up into that. That's, that's the, our biggest question mark right now is, is who's going to fill in those holes. And we'll close with this. GMC, always tough. Where do you see yourself fitting into the league? I'm sure you want to get back on top. Tenora claimed the title last year. Tenora is going to be good. They know us. We know them. Um, if you ask these guys, they're going to tell you that we're going to be the league champs, and that's what we're, we're working towards. Uh, we don't like how last year ended, right. losing to them, of course. And uh, there's a little chip on the shoulder, and we want to get back at them. Well, best of luck to you, Coach Feller, and the – Entire Wayne Trace Raiders team in 2015. We need to take a break here on the warm-up from Frickers, but when we come back, Mark Kuntz is going to chat with some of the Raider players. K-Y-O-U. Thank you, Wayne Trace Raiders. As cheerleaders are here at Frickers, I want to thank Frickers for hosting us and sponsoring the Wayne Trace warm-up as we continue talking with the Raiders. I'm Mark Kuntz as we're joined now by three of the seniors for Bill Spellers. We've got Gabe Wobbler, quarterback and linebacker, Cole Shepard, wide receiver and linebacker on the end. Noah Stoller, Noah Stoller running back and linebacker. Noah, how'd the summer go for you guys this year? Uh, we put in a lot of work this summer. I see a lot of guys putting the effort in and we're doing pretty well, I think. Already in the books. Have, did you get something out of uh, taking on Van Wert? Was it good to go out there and hit somebody in a different colored uniform? Uh, yeah. I mean, you always like hitting your own buddies, but then again, you don't want to hurt them too. So, but we also learned a lot from that scrimmage. It helped us a lot. Gabe, you've had a couple of buddies been the quarterbacks the last couple of years for Wayne Trace. Now it's your turn to be the signal caller. Are, are you ready to take on that responsibility in this offense? Yeah, I've been ready, and I've learned a lot, and I can't wait to play. A great group of seniors graduated last year as you guys are coming off back-to-back -back playoff appearances. How much did you learn from the senior class, not only last year, but two years ago as well? Uh, Colby was a uh, Colby Spees was a really good mentor for me. I learned a lot from him, and uh, Tyler was also great. And yeah. Cole, what have you seen out of this new quarterback as one of his receivers out there? Uh, I think he sees the field pretty well, and he definitely throws a good ball. So let's see if we can keep that going. 
Noah, let's talk a little defense. You guys all both go both ways. How is the Raider defense coming along so far? Uh, we actually put in a new defense this year, and I honestly think it's doing pretty well. Like, it's, it's a change, but I think everyone's flowing to the ball, getting there aggressively. Cole, has it been difficult to adapt to this new defense? Uh, here and there, there's stuff that comes pretty easily, and then there's some other stuff that takes a while to get used to. It's definitely different, that's for sure. Finally, Gabe, a couple of weeks before the season opener at Paulding, what do you need to get, to need to get accomplished before week one? I think uh, our effort needs to get up a little bit, and our uh, we have a little bit of offensive line that needs some, a little bit of work, but they last night at the scrimmage, they look good. So about there. All right, we're going to hear from a couple of those offensive linemen coming up right after the break here on the warm-up presented by Frickers when we return more from Wayne Trace here on WOSN. Back to the warm-up, like the Canadian Football League. We're third and final down as we're joined by three more of the Raiders as we're going to talk with Scott Weininger, Luke Miller, and Clint Sin. And Clint, all three of you guys are seniors. How eager is the senior class to kind of take over this program and, and continue on what the, the Raiders have done the last couple of years? Uh, we're pretty eager. We've made the playoff the past two years, and we want to keep that trend going. Luke, how's it going playing football now? It's great. I missed it, and I'm glad I'm back. What brought you – what made you decide to come back out for football? I missed it. Want to be back. <laughs> <laughs> Scott, is it good to have this guy back with you guys? Oh, definitely. What uh, What have you seen uh, this year that's maybe been different the last couple of years? Uh, definitely the offensive line is smaller. I mean, Chucky Chastain, like you said before, graduated. But I think we're faster, and I think we can really do a lot. Luke, you got a couple of weeks for that first game with Paulding. What uh, What would you like to see accomplished between now and week one? Uh, if we get our effort up, I think that will help us a lot, get our energy going. Clint, we heard about the, the new defensive philosophy. You go both ways. You're a linebacker as, as on the defensive side of things. How's the transition going to the new D? Uh, it's pretty nice. I mean, seeing the field as a linebacker, I mean, we can really flow down, flow down the line and make some big hits. Obviously, you open up against Paulding on the road, open up GMC play against Fairview at home. A lot of big games for you guys. Any in particular, Clint, that you're looking forward to? Uh, Tenora. Now, does Luke understand how big Tenora was after last year? Yeah, I'm pretty sure he does. <laughs> Luke, what are you looking forward to most this season? Uh, getting back on the field and just working with these guys and getting better every week. Scott, what are some of the goals for this year's team? Uh, definitely to win the GMC. I mean, it's been a problem the last few years, but Tenor is one of the obstacles we want to take over this year. You guys have kind of made a home for yourself in the postseason the last couple of years. Do you feel pressure to, to continue on that postseason tradition now? I mean, yeah, but I think we can do it if we work hard. All right, I want to thank all of our guests from Wayne at Trace, including the cheerleaders and head coach Bill Speller. For Matt Finkel, I'm Mark Hoon. Certainly a big thank you for Frickers for hosting us tonight and sponsoring the Wayne Trace warm-up. We'll see you next time here in WOSN.